five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Anna Spaceship Show. I'm Anna Spaceship. Welcome aboard. All right, so today's project is I'm gonna paint my nails. Why I tell you my fantastic shower thought. So I'm trying to have shower thoughts in the shower because I joined Reddit and I'm having a, I don't get it. I don't get Reddit. So I suck at Reddit, but I found a group that I thought maybe I could make comments on so that I can get likes, so that I can get karma, so that maybe someday I could get an OnlyFans and then I could promote it on Reddit. I don't know. That's what I've heard. I've been watching videos on YouTube by 20 year olds. Oh, oh, I just hurt my foot. Oh my God. What the hell? Okay. So. I heard you're more relatable if you drink out of a cup. I um, am a little nervous and so I'm hyperventilating. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'll go <sighs> when I'm nervous. So let's just meditate for a second. And I'm just going to be calm around you and not nervous. Did you know that when people are attracted to other people, they stink sweat instead of just normal sweat? I looked up the Wikipedia page on sweat and it's crazy. It's a really great page. I'll read it to you someday. Okay, so I was having a shower thought and I was like, yay, I get to write this on Reddit. And my shower thought was, what happened? to hot for words. What happened to that girl from hot for words? And so I Googled it and there was this guy, can I do two things at once? Probably not. And there was this guy who made a video like two years ago and it was super good. And, um, he gave a great history of what's going on with her and it's really crazy and very worth looking into and watching that documentary or it's not a documentary it's just a video on youtube but i kind of feel psychic because she started making videos like eight days ago and she pretty much hasn't made videos for like eight years and she used to be like the top 10 and she was on every news channel and everyone was like you're a freaking genius and like he said he, she pretty much was just like looking up words on wikipedia 10 years ago before we all realized how awesome that is. So I love etymology. Uh, I loved hot for words. I thought it was great. I thought it had something for everyone, you know, and learning boobs, words, and uh, this is the part I always smudge. Because I have ADHD and so I can't. This will be amazing if I don't smudge. So, hot for words. Focus and don't hyperventilate. Yeah, so she's back. Um, she has really short hair and she has opinions and she's not, she's not the girl from hot for words in the sense like life happens, you know, and you become more than you were when you were 20. So I highly recommend you look that up. But what I wanted to say was my favorite episode. I remember my favorite episode. Do you remember your favorite episode from Hot For Words? My favorite episode was the one on Amazons. So the word was Amazon. And yeah, it turns out that, well, a means without, and then mazon means breasts. And so the Greeks, you know, made up the word Amazon, and they said they were these warriors who would cut one boob off. But that was like kind of a, that was a myth to scare people from joining the rad army. Uh, the Hamazons, which was a Persian word 
Now, this is where I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, Hamazons and women were warriors in the Hamazons. Uh, and I believe the Hamazons are the Scythians or the Scythians. And we should do a whole episode on that. And um, yeah, so the Amazons were the Hamazons. They had both of their boobs. And there were female warriors with the male warriors of the Scythians, Scythians. And that was my favorite hot for words. Okay, so this is how I do my nails because I don't do anything like anyone probably. So I like to paint all my nails. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, how do you do it? I like to paint all my nails and then put one long nail on as it's not gonna work I paint all my nails and then I put one on as a magic wand and I can't believe this failed this is my second show that's failed <sighs> alright well you know what wait right there I have a needle. Let's not let this fail, okay? Okay. I'll be right back. Wait there. Wait there. Mom, I'm on TV. I'll be back. I'll come visit you. Okay. Now. Oh, there we go. 